All right, so today I'm gonna show you two 3D printers that are great for families. We're gonna go through the differences, show what we've printed, and hopefully give you guys an idea of maybe what is the best 3D printer for you. Our very first printer was the Toy Box. Now, it is a decent kids printer, but for the articulated animals, it's not as good as some of the other things I've seen print. And some of the ones you have to pay extra for, the prints, um, it can break really easily. My daughter colored this one just because you can only do one color at a time on the Toy Box. And having experienced that, I would highly recommend you getting the combo because you can do four colors at one time. So if there's prints that you see, you don't have to print it in pieces. You can print it with uh, the, it switching on its own with the four colors. So going from this on the toy box to this on the bamboo, it, it, as you can see, it is way better. It's way more of a quality product that kids really do love and I mean honestly it's fun to just fidget around with. We printed a lot on the bamboo so we're going to start out showing you some of our favorite prints. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to just print right from the app. It's called Bamboo Handy is the app name. Hi okay. guys! Today we're doing a review on the Bamboo A1 combo. These are just mine. So yes, Vanessa is going to show what she's made her favorite things that she has made with the bamboo a1 so here's this one it, it even opens its mouth credit to the the person who designed this dragon the colors are really cool yep it's it's the color changing filament this cute little cat well actually long cat it, it has like a sunset color it's yeah, it's a it's like a dragon without wings, but it's like. Look at the color. Here's this one. I just customized it to look like the galaxy, but here's the ghast from Minecraft. It has articulated tentacles. Mm -hmm. So yeah, very satisfying. Anyways, here's the dolphin. Aww. It's an articulated dolphin. The last one of my favorites are, here's Pebble oh, from Dandy's World. It's so cute. If you don't know what Dandy's World is, <laughs> the, this is the first print that I printed on that. The bamboo? Yes, the bamboo. Here's the Light Fury, uh, actually no, no, no. Articulated Light Fury. It's one. like more articulated, like, and it doesn't break that easily. Like yeah. you could just shake this thing around. Here's the other articulated one, the bigger one. Mm -hmm. That one's like the baby version, the other one. So it doesn't, ha it doesn't have articulated wings, but they do come off. Like whenever you want to take it off, you can just put it back on. And it has a very satisfying articulated tail. So if, if, you, want if, if you want like statues and like still, like holding still like, um, figurines or any of that then then buy to the toy box and if you want anything like articulated like toys like like this stuff that we've been talking in a video then you're gonna want it yep. yeah, and so here's the nintendo um the the wonder the wonder dragon i did my own colors for this one mm -hmm. so we'll put a picture like somewhere right here of what it actually looks like so these are the best ones that i think of buddy boys um he's not right here right now um here's the octopus this one's actually amazing like it's so articulated and it even like moves around up and down you know here's another one of buddy boys arky arky godzilla it yeah. can even stand up Here's this thing. It actually like articulates it, like one of those um, toys you'll find at like Cracker Barrel or something. This one's so cool. That is really cool. Look at it. Look at how many stuff it needs to have. Yeah, a toy box could never. Yeah. Here's another shark. Uh -huh. And here's this banana. Oh yeah, that one's really cool. It like actually flexes like a banana. 
Yeah. So besides the articulated animals, we've printed a bunch of those. My kids absolutely love them. We have printed other things that I will show here in a minute. Our first printer, the toy box, I think it was pretty much almost ready to go out of the box, but the bamboo A1 combo is going to take a little bit to build. I think it took my husband under an hour, but I would recommend watching a step-by-step -step instructional video because there's a couple things we noticed they didn't put in the instruction booklet. I would recommend getting a filament dehydrator because if you can see those little strings there sometimes the special ones like the color changing filament does need to be dried out but for the most part for the bamboo brand matte filament we haven't had any issues and they do provide you with a lubricant you're gonna need to do that probably about once a month just to make sure that everything runs smoothly i printed this Nintendo sign here, my husband did hang it up though. Just the Nintendo one, the other ones we did purchase at Hobby Lobby. My husband did print the Intellivision, Intellivision, Sega, and Atari symbol. So those are 3D printed. The Flynn Arcade and the Tron sign are 3D printed. Space Invaders is also printed from the bamboo. Vanessa's idea and pick is this panda. By bamboo. By bamboo. So we already have the white and the black ready to go. And we are going to compare mm -hmm. that, the, the panda on on bamboo and maybe a panda and like an articulated panda on toy box. Yep. Okay, so we found it on the app and then we go to prepare print and we have to, okay, we make sure A1 is selected. It says 1.5 hours, one plate. So then we already have black and white ready to go. It tells you how much filament as well that you're going to go through. And we're ready to print. Uh, we do rec they do recommend you do the bed to keep this checked just to make sure it prints right. I was going to show that too. That's one of my favorite prints that it did. It looks like uh, yarn. Looks really cute. But these are all free to print on the bamboo. So you don't have to, to uh, pay for extra stuff when you go through here and there's new stuff. There's new stuff all the time on here. And you hear the sound? Mm -hmm. That's the sound whenever it's going to do one of the prints for you. Yep. And if you hear a sound again, then th that means it's done. It goes, mm, 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 yeah, it does cute mm. little sounds when it's done. Well, and then if you like stuff on the Bamboo app, you can just like or create um, some sort of saved album. And it shows, it saves it. So I, we printed this little, little glasses holder and stuff too. So that's nice. That way you don't lose it. Okay, then this is the Toy Box app. So certain things you'll see bolts. Hold on. You'll see bolts and that, that costs extra. So, but some of the other stuff can be free. So, she's going to go look for a panda on here. There are a lot of free things, but it's very simple, and it can only do one color at a time. So, we're probably going to have to do a white panda, and then paint it the parts black. So, I've showed this in our tutorial, but you have to go to food, and then it warms up, and then you switch the color. And I did print this as well, so it catches, they call it poop, catches the printer poop. So the toy box is going to be limited because you only have one color at a time, but we heat this up and then we change the color. This one, the bamboo A1 combo, can do four, so that is really nice. You don't have to constantly change it. And it knows to change it on its own. So if you have four colors, just print and you're ready to go. It'll do it for itself. So this one's going to calibrate first. And go through the steps before, Let me see the scissors. before it prints. And this one is warming up still. Alright, so it is calibrating right now. It does its thing just to make sure that it prints accurate, accurately. So just give it time. So this one takes 57 minutes for Toy Box. This one takes <laughs> 4 hours and 44 minutes. So we'll show the... Uh, finale coming up and the bamboo is going to switch from white to black with each um, layer so it's gonna go switch now you are gonna go through more filament that way but when you get these 3d printers you're gonna want filament colors so we have quite a few I need to buy some sort of rack or storage and we got a dehydrator for like 30 bucks so we started 
putting them in bags. Then they have the color changing ones too. That I got on Amazon, works great, but I try to get bamboo when I can. So the toy box is going here and it does some sort of ring on the outside and then it just starts in. I mean, it still is great for kids. If you're, if you have a kid, they, they can do it themselves if they're like maybe seven or eight. Um, but bamboo, you're gonna need adult help with this. It's just not as good as the bamboo that we have. This is also one of my favorite prints we did. It's for our um, power-up bands and uh, it's for the park at Epic Universe. So somebody designed this and it only holds three, but that's okay. It's really cool. Like I just like it for certain storage devices and stuff, like handy things, things that you may not think about that just, they're useful around the house. All right, so excuse my son's Lego mess right here, but it also prints these bookmarks that are really neat. Um, and it's like almost like a 3D. I have to show you the cherry blossom one. That's my favorite. It's just, it is so cool with how 3D it is. And like I said, it can print these like really cool, simple things you didn't think about that can be handy. I like the uh, celestial one too. Kind of reminds me of like Pizza Moon at Epic Universe. If you guys have been to Epic Universe, you know what I'm talking about. Karomi. So now we will be giving these to the characters, different 3D printed stuff. Um, but obviously we're not selling them because it is copyright. So I wouldn't recommend selling it unless you create your own design um, or you pay somebody uh, the rights to sell these things. And then my daughter wants to show you guys her little clickers. She loves printing those. Mm -hmm. Creeper, very fuzzy creeper. She's addicted to these. Here's, here's cinnamon roll, ASMR. A little paw. I like that one. Yeah, it has a bunch of them on them. And um, I'll show you the original cl clickers. Show them up close. There you go. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one, which is kind of hard to click because you can't. It's just gonna spawn. Here's my one of my favorites. Derpy. Um, K-pop demon hunters. It's a poop clicker. Oh my this is what the clicker looks like. You can just put it back on it. But it's actually for your keyboard. You have to buy it on Amazon. So the kids love the articulated stuff. Uh, Vanessa loves the clickers. The kids love all the animals that you can print. And again, there's no extra cost um, with using the app. I have not tried Maker Worlds where you can design your own. I'm a little scared. But we're gonna try it. We are gonna try it. I'm a little intimidated because I'm learning a lot about the 3D printed world, but we'll get there. So let us know if you have any questions about the actual printer. Um, and it's just, it's a great starter printer for families, I think. So this one's going, I'll show it when it's finished. Hopefully the, what we showed, we already printed, gives you an idea what to expect. But as you can see, it's going through the black and the white for each layer. So it can, if it's multiple colors, it can go through the filament faster. And as you can see, it's like slowly cranking through the white right now, because that's what it's using but it does it itself. We really haven't had too many issues. We had one issue with filament itself um, from Amazon. It did not work very well and it wasn't sticking to the plate. Every once in a while I've seen people say that the nozzle can get clogged, um, but I've only had to do that one time and I don't know if that's what it was. I just did it anyway. So far we've had it for about two months. We really haven't had any issues except for the filament uh, not sticking. It was a metallic ch uh, color changing one. Okay, so far here is the toy box one. Since it is only one color, it's able to go much faster. But it's gonna, you know, obviously not be probably able to bend as much. One thing we've gotten spoiled on with the bamboo is that we don't have to print things in parts since it can take up to four colors. So with other printers and only one color at a time, you're going to have to print all these separate parts. I also like that if you get the bamboo brand filament, you only have to buy the spool once and then you can buy refills, but also the machine recognizes the color automatically. If you buy a different brand, you're going to have to do an extra step loading it each time. 
So we did print these little controller stands too. You can put the Pro Controller right on it. Yeah, so that one works for that. There's two different kinds because obviously they're gonna be a little bit different in size. And I also have a Mario Mushroom red one. This one didn't print too bad. It's kind of articulated. It's better than some of the other ones, but it is all white because you can only do one color, of course. So as far as cons, there aren't too many cons with this printer. I mean, the only thing is there are more things that can go wrong with it, like the nozzle can get stuck with the filament. It can get clogged. Uh, there's more pieces to this printer. So there are things that can happen that you may have to Google, whereas I've had no issues with the toy box, um, really, except for like maybe Wi-Fi losing connection. Um, but more things can go wrong with this printer but the actual quality is way better and it just it's just a, overall a better printer I forgot to mention that every once in a while the filament could get tangled especially if you let go of the end and you don't wind it right it can get tangled and with the bamboo it will pause the print and you can fix it but if the toy box gets tangled it will completely just mess up during the print and you have to start all over the menu itself is pretty self-explanatory you can adjust the temperature you can load unload and change filament i'm doing my last print here my son wants gyarados so i have the four colors ready getting them ready here it's really easy to change out maybe takes 30 seconds per color and those tubes once the filament goes up a little bit it just automatically starts taking the color in so it's actually pretty cool and just showing you here on the app like I said you can customize the color so you don't have to have the classic colors like the Pokemon here you can make them any color that you have that you would like the bamboo is about two times the price of the toy box but honestly it's already paid for itself it's been a lot of fun and I can't wait to give out Christmas gifts this year and again I am a newbie we became 3d printers just last Christmas with the basic one we have so anyone can really figure this out and you can print multiples like I said we are giving these out for gifts so that's another option too. click either of these two videos next the top one being our more detailed review of the toy box 3d printer and then our bottom one is a review of the next playground which is another family product that's super fun stay tuned as we're going to be covering the switch 2 and more